Good morning. It's good to see you. Let's stand as we begin our, our, uh, our worship. I want to read from Colossians 1. Colossians 1, 15. It says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created. I want you to say all things. In Him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together, and He is the head of the body, the church. The firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. Amen. This is the one that we worship. This is the one we have our eyes on this morning. Father, we thank you that your kingdom is unshakable, that who you are is immovable, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, we thank you. You are the one that we have our eyes on. You are the one that we worship. You are welcome in this place to do what you want to do with us, to us, through us. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. Church, let's lift our voices, open our hearts, and sing to him. He's high above. We turn our hearts and lift our eyes. We welcome you, arms open wide. We receive. light of heaven let every soul arise and wait if the sun prepare the way we receive we receive the light of heaven
our hearts today, we bring our lives today, we put our eyes on you. God, we thank you for all that you've done for us, never failing, never failing love. Lord, we're a thankful people today. We just lift our eyes, lift our hands, lift our hearts to you. All you've done, for all you've done, for all you've done. When we were lost once, you were the shepherd that carried us home. When we were prodigal, you can to meet us with open love. And we can hold back our prayer. And when we were refugees, you were the one. You were the one who took us. We were your enemy. You paid the price. You paid the price for all I say. And we can't hold back our free.
than one You contradict that made of You sang our freedom song Now we are dancing on our chains to give us life, life in abundance, and He is the joy giver. It doesn't mean that everything is joyful, but He gives us joy that's resident. And we can't give away what, what we don't have ourselves. And so today, this is, a, this is a filling station, as it were, right? This is a corporate filling station, and we're just um, causing, causing us to be saturated and causing us to be stabilized and causing us to be again refilled with the truth of who he is on the inside of us so i just say receive that joy today just receive that joy today father right now we just receive the furnishing of your life in us no matter what we see no matter what we hear no matter what comes Lord, we thank you that your church right here and your church in this city and in this state and in this nation is alive and well because you are alive and well. Lord, we thank you for the infusion of joy, the infusion of strength, the infusion of life that is not dependent on what we see, that is not dependent on what happens to us or around us. We thank you, you are unshakable. We receive, we receive the unshakable God today. Oh, yeah, yeah. We thank you. We thank you.
unshakable love. For I spoke a word you were singing over me. You've been good. You've been so, so good to me. For I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. And you've been so, so kind to me. And all the overwhelming, never ending. Reckless love of God Oh, it chases me down Fights till I found Leaves the night and I I couldn't earn I don't deserve Still you give yourself away All the overwhelming Never ending Reckless love felt no worth, you paid it all. When I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been so, so kind to me. of God right now. Receive it so you can give it away.
afraid of There's nothing What can separate us There's nothing Nothing can come between Nothing can separate us We receive it, we receive it Drinking deep So we can give it away We're drinking deep today We can give it away So we can give it away Lord, we thank you for your love this morning. We thank you, Lord, that your love is real. Lord, it's, it's true, God, and it overwhelms us, and it is reckless, Lord. It comes in sometimes at the most <laughs> inopportune times, Lord, but we say yes. I want you to say yes to his love this morning. We just say yes to it. Whatever it is that you want to do in our lives today, Lord, we say yes to you. We say yes to you, Lord. We're not trying to run from it, but we are wanting to embrace everything that you have for us, Lord, your love that is, is so tangible, so real. And that real love somehow found its way to our hearts, Lord, and we just say yes to it. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm always thinking about the fact that sometimes my wife is, is incredibly busy all the time with taking kids to school and fixing lunches and dance and sporting deals and Sometimes I'll come in the kitchen, she'll be making a sandwich or something. She's like, I got to go, and I'll, I'll, I'll come up from behind and try to hug her. And she's like, I don't have time for this. You need to leave me alone. I'm go I got I to go, and I just won't let go. I'll just sit there and hold her. And she'll be like, I got to go. You know, one time she elbowed me. We need prayer for that. She elbowed, she's, but I, I, <laughs> I'm holding on, and she's trying to get lit going, and I'm just saying, you might as well stop fighting it. Right now, just receive this love. She's like, you're about to receive a whooping. <laughs> like, just, just, just not be busy for a second. And just, just, I just want to tell you how much I love you. And she just stands there. And then she'll receive it for a while. And then she's gone. She's like, thank God he's gone. But I'm telling you, the truth is, is that sometimes we, we're never too busy for his love. Is that true? We're never too busy for his love. And so that's why we, we harp on it. We stay on it because nothing can separate you from his love. Amen. We're going to take some time this morning to pray for the hurricane victims. Uh, uh, we're going to pray for Houston still. We have some, uh, we need to pray for them. Amen. Just because the storm's over doesn't mean that there's some aftermath that, needs to, that we need to pray for. Amen. And we need to pray for Florida this morning. Uh, I talked to my brother, uh, Stephen, who's a pastor at Life Church in Florida. And uh, he said, uh, I said, man, you need to come up here and, and you need to come and, and stay with us. He goes, no, we're, we've dismissed our services. We've canceled them because we're going to open our doors so that people can come in. He goes, I'm staying. I said, man, I, that's not smart. He goes, I'm telling you, this, and this is what he said. He goes, this is churches. This is our finest hour right now. It's our finest hours for us to receive people. He said, we, gotta, we need to be on point and we need to be ready. So he, he's, he's going to stay. And um, I said, well, what are you doing? I said, that's crazy. He goes, man, I was at Disney World today, and there's no lines, man. There's nobody here. There's nobody here at all. And I told him, I said, there's a reason why nobody's in the lines. He goes, man, it's like heaven. We go in every, we don't even have to get out of the roller coaster. We just stay on and be like, woo. Like, you're crazy, crazy. You're turning into white people. That's what white people do. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. But on that note, let's pray. We better pray. So, Lord, we just thank you right now. I want you to join me as we pray. Lord, we just say right now to the storm, we speak to the storm. Come on, get aggressive with me. We speak to the storm this morning, and we say, peace, be still. And we say, Lord, wherever the storm is intended, wherever it's designed to go, wherever it's supposed to go, we speak to it this morning, and we say, no, in the name of Jesus, dissipate and be still in Jesus' name. 
And we pray, Lord, that as people are getting ready, Lord, to, for this storm and, and, and that Irma's coming in, we just say that the name of Jesus is above Irma right now in the name. And we thank you, Lord, that whatever the damage is, whatever they projected, whatever they're saying, we say that heaven has the final word over this storm in Jesus' name. We pray for those that are in Houston and in the surrounding cities and in Rockport and all those different places. We pray that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rule their hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, as they rebuild, they're going to build on the rock, which is Christ, Lord. Every school, every facility, Lord, those places where they've received damage, we just say, Lord, right now, that you would give them strategies on how to rebuild, things to do, to do, engineers, whatever they need, Lord, to rebuild. When we say yes to you, Lord, right now, whatever it is that you want to do, in Jesus' name. And everyone said amen, amen, amen. So we're thankful we were leaving. And so it's not just a Sunday deal. We're going to continue to pray. Amen? Oh, that was weak. Are you going to continue to pray? Okay, good. I just want to make sure. I want to invite our prayer team to come down. Prayer team, why don't you come? For those of you that are guests, we have a prayer team every Sunday morning where we pray for those uh, who just want prayer for anything. Whatever needs or whatever you have, we want to pray for you. We have a spectacular, amazing team of people who have prayed up, been praying for an opportunity to pray with you and to really see what God wants to do. So I'm going to pray, Lord, again, we, we're, we're here this morning, some of us that are going through personal storms, we thank you that you speak to storms, you ride on storms, you know, Lord, what they're going through. So we just thank you that our trust and our hope is in you, and we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. So why don't you come? There's people already here for prayer, already here praying, so whatever it is that you need, you need maybe it's a loved one, what, whatever it is, let us pray for you. Our worship team is going to continue to play and you join in, engage, but let's see what God's up to this morning.
worship the one name. Jesus Christ. Over nations. Over kingdoms. Over history. We worship that name. Just worship the name, church. Churches, I want us to stand and make this declaration. Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. You silenced the boast of sin and grave. His truth in the mouth of His church. We're going to just declare this over our lives, over our city, over our state, and over our nation. Let's just sing this out. Every voice. This is the ecclesia. This is where we get to stand as the counsel of God. This is not a comforting moment for us. This is a declaration moment where His words are in our mouth. His words, His truth in the mouth of His church. Every voice, every voice. 